Hey everyone, I'm Allison and you're watching Long Island Thrifter. Today, I'm in St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Let's go thrifting. Charlotte Amelie in St. Thomas, which is the capital of the U.S. Virgin Islands, was another stop on the cruise my mom, my sister, and I took to the Caribbean. And our first stop my sister and I went to was the Salvation Army on Main Street. It is a very small Salvation Army. It's mostly clothing and a few shoes, but very little in the way of hard goods or housewares. So it's a very quick walk around uh, this shop. And there's lots of bins to go through with clothing and also plush stuffed animals and bedding and a lot of clothing that's also hanging up along the windows. And uh, I did look into one of the bins, some t-shirts and things like that, but I didn't really see anything that I wanted to pick up. I did walk over to one rack that did have some housewares on it, and I saw this 135th Kentucky Derby commemorative glass, which I thought about for a second, and then I looked it up on eBay, and it really doesn't sell very well. Um, it's about 10 bucks or 12 bucks. So nothing that I wanted to take home. Then as we were outside, I saw this little guy walking around. <coughs> While I was researching other thrift shops, I did find it I, one online, but unfortunately we searched for it and we could not find it anywhere. But down one of the alleys off of Main Street, we found this place called Carson Company Antiques. And I'll have to tell you what a gem, what a beautiful shop filled with all kinds of antiquities. And my sister and I just spent so much time in there just looking at every single thing. Here in the front jewelry case, there were some beautiful items, including that green necklace, which I just fell in love with. It was made from 19th century glass beads that were made in Czechoslovakia. It was restrung and I bought it. I loved it. This was my gift for myself for my for the trip and I just think this is a gorgeous necklace and a, a beautiful piece of history. And then as we walked around further, there were all kinds of maps and uh, Colombian pre-Columbian items and things made centuries ago and just gorgeous. You just just walk around this place and you can spend an hour in there and still feel like you didn't see everything. Uh, they still had their Christmas tree up, which was beautiful. And the ornaments were just stunning. I love this little owl. It's so pretty. The store has so much to look at. You could truly spend an hour or so in there. And it's not a huge store, but it is gorgeous. I love this sugar bowl which was hand-blown glass, and it was $85. It was beautiful, really gorgeous and well-made. I just, I really like that a lot. I, I love glass, but I also know that I can't buy glass anymore. I'm always afraid of shipping <laughs> and breakage. I'm not really sure what this item was that I found. It was $25. It said silver plate dansk design France, but I don't know what it is. So if you know what it is, drop a note below. I did find this absolutely adorable Chinese carved jade frog, which I bought and I just fell in love with it. I don't know why, I'm not a huge frog fan, but I just thought this was so adorable. And so I picked this up uh, as another memory of my travels. As we walked down another alleyway, we found this fabulous shop and it's all locally made items called Shaka Zulu. And the owner was quite a trip. He makes all of the jewelry in here and all of these amazing headdresses along the wall. His clothing he's wearing right now is uh, for a practice for Carnival, which is later in April in St. Thomas. The incredible craftsmanship that goes into the jewelry making and these unbelievable headdresses. I mean, they're just absolutely gorgeous. You have to come to this shop, Shaka Zulu, 
when you're in St. Thomas. It's, it's really a stunning place. He showed me the stone for this bracelet he was working on, and he said that the stone is called a green aventurine, which is so gorgeous sounding in itself, and it's a beautiful stone. Definitely check out Shaka Zulu when you are in Charlotte Mali in St. Thomas. It's a great store. After we left Shaka Zulu, we walked down the passageway towards the waterfront, and we came across SOS Antiques. And it is all about shipwrecks and nautical salvage. There's tons of pieces here. I mean, could you imagine people putting that on their head and going underwater like 80 years ago? It's crazy. Uh, There were so many things to look at. You could walk around this door for hours and still feel you didn't see everything. There are lots of buoys, bottles, ship figureheads, maps. Everything you can imagine that's found in a shipwreck or at the bottom of the ocean. And did I mention pirates? There's tons of stuff that says pirates everywhere on this. It's kind of a museum in a way, too, because some of these artifacts are not for sale. They're, uh, you know, definitely old and uh, worth a lot. And uh, it's just incredible to see all these pieces. There's navigation equipment. Uh, that's, you know, centuries old and binoculars. It's amazing. It really is. I'm not really sure what this thing is, but it's $895. So there's a lot of old things here, but you can also buy new items that are more touristy items and then jewelry and pieces like that. But it's definitely a fun store to check out while you're here in St. Thomas. I would highly recommend it. It's definitely worth the stop. Thanks for watching Long Island Thrifter. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button and if so inclined, please subscribe. Until next time, keep on thrifting.